tuna. Sweet. Delightful snack, tuna. One of my favorites. What is this? Smithy's beans. The taste of Britain. <laughs> I don't know why that strikes me as very funny for some reason. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, borrowed a stamp. Don't forget to post the order for your May Day ankle bells. Well, that's interesting. I think we just found a stamp. Perhaps these two things are related. So what do we have here? FAO Morris Dancing Limited. And we have an order form here. Perhaps... Ankle bells? Quantity. I'm assuming that they've got two ankles, although I used to know a girl that had three. But that is a long story for a time that is not now. Hmm. I thought something more might happen there. Alrighty, let's keep exploring. What do you say? Probably something fun to do upstairs. What do we got? What do we got? Nada. I'm uh, I'm not going to uh, state the obvious here, but uh, that clock is drunk, and uh, we should probably ask it to go home. Uh, that actually reminds me a lot of a very cool episode of Batman the Animated Series that I won't spoil for you, but uh, it did involve uh, it did involve a similar motif. Here we go. Projector zero parts restored. That that I'm almost positive that that is shoots and ladders. That's that's pretty funny too. Uh, of course, uh, chess. Very fine game chess. This reminds me of a story uh, from Wayne's World 2, the roadie that they meet who uh, talks about uh, the shop owner and his son and how he had to beat them to death with his own shoes, with their own shoes. I really love that guy. As a matter of fact, for years I said that maybe the funniest thing that I'd ever seen in any film ever, like, just because it appeals to my absurdist sense of humor, like, my favorite, my favorite joke ever was uh, when he's... Uh, He's talking about sleeping upside down and how it'll add like 40 years to your life or whatever. And then he turns to Wayne and he says, this may also be the reason why Keith Richards cannot be killed by conventional weapons. And like, I just lost my shit. Like, I just absolutely lost my shit. Like, if you want to like understand my sense of humor, like understand that that joke is the funniest thing that, that I had heard in like the first half of my life. And then I discovered Mr. Show. Uh, Mayday equipment is. I can't find it anywhere. I always forget the actual names of the Mayday stuff. Here's the stuff I need. Hat, bells, stick. Hat, bells, and stick. And I see that we are missing one of these. Uh, baldricks. So we're probably, probably going to be on the lookout for a baldric. My God, those are ugly shoes. Alrighty, let's see. What else? Uh, what else? What else? What else? I'm almost positive that it says high vibes. Which, if Daniel hasn't, uh, if Daniel hasn't already snagged that URL, he ought to. Let's save the recorder. You never know. You never know. Another ball. I think I already have one of those. Cricket bat. I just flash back to that terrible Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. Uh, the old, old one that had Casey Jones and his fucking cricket bat. I watched that movie like five times in the theater when I was a kid. I don't know, I don't know how old I was when, I, when it came out, but I watched it like five times in the theater when I was a kid. Um, made my poor mom sit through it at least twice. No, I completely disagree. And... Um, a couple years ago, it came on TV one night, and I was just like, oh, man, like, I'm going to watch this. Like, like I used to love that movie when I was a kid, and, like, I, I, I watched about ten minutes of it. I was like, oh, my God, this is the most terrible thing ever. Like, I can't believe I did that to my poor mom. The Grumpy Knocker. N.J. Apostle. Now, I, I have an idea who N.J. might be. Um, that's, uh... 
that might be uh, that might be a, a pretty funny in joke for a a pretty important member of the development team who may or may not have had something to do with sound. I don't know this, of course. I'm just speculating, but I think I could make a case. All righty, let's see here. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm just about in a position where I'm going to have to wrap up here because uh, it's getting late, and I desperately, uh, I desperately need to go help my wife with uh, the daughter. So let's uh, let's hunt around a little bit here, and let's see if um, let's see if real quickly if we can do any kind of. Um, Oh no, that's like <laughs> the workshop's a whole. That's a whole other bag of worms. We're gonna come back to that later. Let's uh, let's just look around a little bit, see if maybe we can hunt and uh, work on one of the uh, work on one of the puzzles we've already started on. In my experience, anyone that asks you to trust them is usually not Did I trustworthy. Tell you about an odd colleague of mine who experimented with brain cell transplants, taking them from one memory and surgically implanting them into another, an attempt to reconfigure their minds, he said. Fascinating stuff, really. Imagine what we could do with that level of scientific freedom. Okay, so uh, here's a here's a here's an interesting uh, bit of information. Might come in handy later on. Uh, I will never forget your radiant face, even though the school extension was built over where we buried the uh, the time capsule. I still remember the code. Your birthday, of course, zero nine one one. Seems like a piece of information that might come back to us later on. Of course, we got to track down. Uh, we got to figure out where the school extension is. But uh, yeah. That, that could be important. Gonna try to remember that. More whiskey. Oh, that, I, like, that was completely coincidental to me finding that bottle of whiskey. I was just saying more whiskey because that's just, that's just one of those things that I do. Alrighty. Upstairs we go. I'm trying to remember if I visited this house in my first playthrough or not. It seems a little familiar, but you know sometimes these things do start to run together a little bit, if I'm honest. Ah, uh, yes, and here's the lover's note number one, talking about the um, talking about the uh, the time capsule that. Uh, that we're going to have to go and hunt for later. However, I think that is going to have to wait for another playthrough as uh, as my wife is now texting me from the other side of the house and asking for help with our daughter. So on that note, I am going to uh, I'm going to say good night to uh, to all of you and uh, and thank you for joining me for uh, for this playthrough of Ether One. I am going to be uh, I'm going to be playing through. Uh, again, uh, maybe tomorrow. I'd really like to play through the entire game and you know try to explore all the puzzles and things like that. Some of them I've already figured out. Some I'm going to be figuring out for the uh, for the first time. So should be an interesting old time. Um, so with that having been said, I'm going to uh, I'm going to wish you all a uh, a very fond farewell. I hope everyone has a, a great night and enjoyed watching uh, this playthrough uh, of Ether One. And like I said. Uh, just uh, stand at the ready. Maybe we'll do a little bit more tomorrow, and uh, try to finish it. Uh, try to finish the game by the weekend. Uh, thanks again for joining me, everybody. It was great rolling with you. I'll catch you next time. Until then, stay brutal, my friend.